Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my third update for my skincare project pan and I'm so excited to show you guys everything that I've got progress on, everything that I've finished and where I am currently. So I started this project pan at the beginning of the year and the purpose of this was just to see how fast I go through my products, how often I use my products and for it just to be a reminder for me to just be on point with my skincare with this quarantine that's going on i have been slacking off a lot on my skincare i don't really do anything in the mornings i just wash my face with water and call it a day and during night time i'm not really doing my skincare routine as often just because i know i don't have any makeup on i don't feel the need to go and wash my face and do the rest of my routine which i don't really like to do Anyways, that's not the whole point of this. I do want to be better about it next month. And today is the day after my birthday. Yesterday, I had a wonderful time just with my husband. I did not really have a big birthday or anything. I did receive some gifts. A lot of people sent me their gifts with cake, which was super sweet. And I just like had calls with everyone and talk to everyone on the phone which i was very grateful for i might do a little video to, uh, to show you guys what i got so without further ado before we start this video don't forget to like and subscribe and let's just go into the video all right guys so since my previous update i did finish off one product the first product i finished off was my bath and body works exfoliating cleanser so this is what it looked like it was a gift to my husband but he uses his keels one as i said numerous times throughout this project so this stood at 51 grams in the previous update and it's currently at 43 grams and it's completely done i'm really glad to finish off this cleanser i don't really like it that much just because of the exfoliating parts a lot of the part of beads would be stuck in my brows or my hairline whenever I'm done showering and stuff, even though I would make a thorough job of cleaning off everything, but I would still find some, those beads and it was really annoying and I did not really like that, but it was a gift so I did finish it off and will not be repurchasing it. And then for everything else that I've made some progress on, let's start off with my exfoliator. This is the Dior instant gentle exfoliant with pure lily extract and i have used quite a bit of it i have been starting using a chemical exfoliant so i've taken down using this from twice a week to once a week so this stood at 65 grams in the previous update and it's currently at 62 grams i didn't really oh yeah so this is where i was and this is where i am right now i did get some pretty good use out of it this would be done by the end of the year most likely so the next product i was working on was this keels midnight recovery concentrate the writing doesn't show up but this is where i was last month this is where i am today and this went down by three grams so currently i'm at 93 grams it was 96 grams and i've been getting some okay use out of it i don't really use it on my face as much anymore i just put on uh two or three drops on my hand just rub it together and pat it on on my skin but i do use two more drops on my neck and i feel like it works really well that way and it's not something I'm going to be repurchasing in the future. And then the next product I was working on, I was using this as my moisturizer. This is the Limpio Q10 Coenzyme. This is where, what it looks like. I was here in my previous update, but just because of the consistency, no matter how much I tap it, I cannot get it to settle down. So I'm somewhere around here. I'm not really sure. It's just stuck to the sides and I can't really see. But this did go down in weight. This was 69 grams and it's currently at 63 grams. So not bad. And then from the same brand, I have the sunscreen. So this is an SPF 60 broad spectrum. And I have used this quite a bit as well. And I think this is I think this is how much I've used. And this has the same problem as the moisturizer. I mean it's a little bit less um thick than the moisturizer but still it clings to the side so i can't really see where i am and this uh the weight went down from 
the weight went down from 38 grams to 34 grams for this as well. All right, and then for my pimple cream, this is the Smooth E Acne Plus Maximum Strength. I talked about this a lot on these Project Pan updates. It's amazing, and I did actually use quite a bit of it. Uh, I had like one big breakout on the side of my cheeks, so I was using this a few times a week just to get rid of that. And this went from 7 grams to 6 grams, so not bad i don't think i have a lot left there's just the tiniest amount left i think in a month or two this should be gone as well and then the next product that i thought would be done this month but it was still not finished off was just because i completely forgot to use it last night this is the body shop shea exfoliating sugar body scrub it has the tiniest amount left guys this takes like i think this would be good for just warm one two arms and like maybe half a leg but i forgot about exfoliating my body yesterday so the weight did go down it was 33 grams in the previous update and it's currently 31 gram i do love 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 this i have to go check my stash and see what other body scrubs i have and yeah i love this it's it's definitely going to be gone next month i promise tomorrow when i'm going to shower i will be using this up then the next product i used up this is my pure passion hand lotion in the scent lavender and guys oh my god i have had the best month using this up i have been using this as a body lotion not just as a hand lotion and this has been sitting in my bathroom for the past two years unused i think i used this much in two years and then ever since i've put this into my project pan i have got so much use out of it and this is the reason why i love project panning products it's because it forces me to remember i mean it it reminds me to use my product it doesn't force me but it's always in the back of my mind and i love that because i have a lot of products that i really really enjoy but i just don't take the time out of my day to use them but whenever i feel like i have an obligation to use them up i do remember them more often so in my previous update i was over here and this is where i am today and oh my god that's a huge jump in my opinion it was a bit lower but I added some shimmery powders or eyeshadows and just mixed it in together and it went up in weight again so it was actually a bit lower I think it was down here somewhere but that's okay it's not gonna last me much longer in two months this should be done I do have another pro uh, lotion I added into my project pan yesterday or was it the day before it was in my roulette pan collab and i did add another lotion but that shouldn't take me long although i do love that lotion more than this one so i mean i'm probably gonna use that one all month so whenever that's done i'll go back and back to this one so the weight did go down significantly it was at 356 grams last update and it's currently at 225 grams so that's a big jump down and i love that the next product i was working on was this kiehl's powerful wrinkle reducing eye cream and i don't know if you guys have seen this one but i really enjoyed this eye cream i like it more than the other one i was using i will link my playlist in the description bar below so you can see everything that i've used up so far and this went down in weight again this was 43 grams in my previous update and it's currently at 41 grams so i don't know if the lighting is good enough for you guys to see how the good the dip is but i have been using this consistently every time i do my skincare of course and i do really really enjoy this eye cream i do have a backup in my collection it's really expensive so i don't know if i'll be repurchasing eye creams in the future but for now i'll be using whatever i have it's gonna last me another year but yeah i'll think about it later on but i am a little bit bougie and i like using my eye cream even if though i know they're the same as any other facial creams whatever i'm using i can use under my eyes but i kind of like my eye creams i don't know <laughs> it just it's the psychology you know it just gets me it gets me every single time and then the next product i was using on 
I was using was this Clarence Double Serum. It has hydric and lipidic system. So I have used this consistently. It went down in weight a little bit, not too much. So this was 152 grams in the previous update and it's currently 150 grams. And if you look at the marks on the side, this is how much it went down. It's not a lot, but it's not bad. I mean, I didn't expect to like go use it too much. So the next product I was using was this Body Shop Oils of Life Intensely Revitalizing Facial Oil. I absolutely love this. In the mornings, if I feel super dry and I feel like I need some moisturizer on my face or under my makeup, this is what I go for. I absolutely love it. It went from 81 to 80 grams and on the bottle you can see there is a little amount of progress but this is an oil you don't really need a lot i think i use three drops maximum four drops whenever i really need some hydration and that's more than enough for me and then the next product i worked on after my cleanser was done was this biore deep pore charcoal cleanser this was brand new when i put it in it went from 238 grams to 227 grams. So based on the bottle, where's my markings? This is how much I've used up and yeah. And then the next product I was working on was my chemical exfoliator. This is the Nip and Fab Exfoliate Glycolic Fixed Night Pads Extreme. I love this product, so I watched Hiram's video and he was talking about how if you want to get more use out of your products you can cut them open or I mean cut them in half and that's what I did uh, last week. I haven't been using this consistently. I kind of used it every other day the past month and I think I'm gonna go to using it every day but it just goes all down to whether I use it and remember it or not but that's the goal. I will try to use it every day. The weight did go down from 127 grams to 114 grams so not bad not bad and then the last product i was working on was my castor oil roller ball i used this on my lid lids i use this on my lashes and on my eyebrows i just want to see if it works i haven't been really using it consistently the past week i haven't used it at all the past week i think and the, I mean, uh, it's a lot to work with. It is an oil, so it does go all over my eyes and brows and my hair gets stuck to my eyebrows whenever I use this and I don't really enjoy the feeling, so I really have to be in the mood for it. But I was kind of using it every day in the beginning for three weeks. I didn't really see a difference in my lashes. I feel like it did grow a bit faster, but nothing crazy like spider lashes or anything like that. But I will try to continue and use this. It went down in weight from 32 grams to 31 gram. No, from 33 grams to 32 grams. So, and this is the amount it went down visually. So, yep, that, that was everything I had to say, show you guys. And... I hope you don't mind my setup. This is my vanity. This is where I do my makeup. This is where I spend a lot of time just doing nothing and looking at my products and everything. These are all filled with makeup and they are not very organized. Let me just say that. <laughs> I hope you like this video and I hope I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!